Welcome to Merida. This city was earlier this year crowned the 12th best city in the world according to some travel magazines. We however felt it was quite crowded and noisy and it was around 40 degrees celsius most of the time. Not only that, we were also quite tired from keeping a high travel pace during our first few weeks so our experience was slightly different. We did however do some cool things and I'm gonna show them one by one. Let's go! We were gonna get some lunch at the place our hostel owner had recommended. And as luck would have it, the mariachi band had decided to perform in the market hall. Delicious lunch, crazy music. Later that night, we went to check out a Hock the Hock game. You know, the ancient mind sport with stone circles that I talked about in Koba? No? Well, you should check out this video then. Anyway, every week they have one public show in honor of their Mayan heritage. Apparently, it's really rare that they actually score in this game, but we were lucky. Honestly, it's a quite boring game, but also a cool experience. The full game, for those who are interested, is available here. As I previously said, it was simply too hot to do anything during daytime, so we decided to be night animals. And we had heard about a bar with good beer and live music, so we checked it out. There, I also tried mezcal, which is like smoky tequila, kinda, for the first time. And a traditional snack to your mezcal? Grasshopper. It's actually quite tasty, I promise. And after a few drinks, even a stiff Swedish body like mine starts to move a bit. The next day we visited Gran Museo del Mundo Maya, which is a Mayan museum. It was a great museum, but you know, it's a museum. It's impossible to make it interesting in a video. I just wanted to throw it in, just because. Merida was her last stop in Yucatan, and the next bus ride was gonna be a 10 hour one. So we stopped by a market to stock up on food to bring. <laughs> Mm, great question. You're gonna eat one, huh? Probably. Okay. These ones are a lot better. Yeah. Yes. The other ones were simply just too right. Yeah. The expert, avocado, avocado expert, expert those days, yeah. Professional. It's not good. How many do we need? I don't know. Maybe two, three, four, five, six. I don't know. It's a long ride. It's a long bus ride. Look at this monster. This one is massive. 
I don't know. I think it feels pretty nice. Yeah, take it. It looks, it looks interesting. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Perfect. <laughs> Now, after a few weeks in Mexico, with a diet of tacos and tortas, you start craving something else. And we had found a perfect way to get that, without paying more. The trick to eating cheap and a lot in Mexico is to go to Chinese places. All this food, 110 pesos. <laughs> I'm happy. Jesus Christ. A few minutes later. I had one portion. Now I decided I wanted two different types. I thought it was gonna be the same size, but different foods. It was twice the amount of food. <laughs> I won't have to eat for another week. That's what you said the last time. This time I mean it. Fun, suffering. But now it was time to move on. What are you doing? Why are you doing that? Because <laughs> we're on a really long bus ride. <laughs> No. Well, I still haven't seen any flamingos. Because every time I see a flamingo, you're like, no, it's not a flamingo. <laughs> Finally, we had reached our destination. Welcome to 